and make our money back. Yeah, I'll go first. Nope. <sighs> this is fine. We'll keep this one. I'm playing against Barbar91. It's like that um, child book, the giant elephants, or I guess elephants are all big, but like the elephants that walk around like humans and the ones named Barbar. Um, we want more threats. I'll put that on the bottom. Okay. We want to play Madre Shaper on turn two and then Temple's the only way we get colorless, so we have to do... Let's confuse them. We'll start with the breeding pool. No, and then pass. Babar. Oh, Babar! Okay. Hi there, Rob. Hi there, 10x. Hi there, Harm. <laughs> oh no, we're playing Eldrazi. That's funny because we're playing Eldrazi. Ha ha. Uh, endless wood. Yep. I'm going to be playing Merfolk as soon as this game is over. I'm very excited. Hi there, who? But yeah, everyone's playing Eldrazi, so it'll be really great to test out my deck against Eldrazi and what I expect to see in paper at Detroit. So it'll be really fun. Yes. Oh, okay, yes. Totally attack. No, you should definitely attack me. Absolutely. Oh, oh, oh come on, man. There we go. Hi there, Kitty Main. Hi there, Oblivion Kitsame. Hi, Woodcutter. <laughs> oh, might as well put that on Battlefield. Thanks for the ramp. That will work. So they're playing Urza, or they're playing Eldrazi Tron. They're going to take my either my Smasher or my Thought Nuts here, either which is really bad for them. So that's okay with me. It's so broken right now, 10x. All right, they took my other Rally Smasher. Go ahead and draw myself a card. Got a displacer. Okay, so we all have to take life to play it, but I think that's gonna be worth it. No, he's at work. He's normally at work during the weekdays. It's just, um, he, we had really bad snowstorm on Wednesday, so which is why he was in t he was at home. Hello, Oblivion Sower. He sees just a cavern of souls. My world breaker came out though. It's good to know. And my inbringer. Oh, he hit both of them. I completely feel ya, hoop. Thanks for the free card when I kill it. Uh, we'll just hold it for now. We don't have good attacks anymore. Well, actually, no, we can blink. We can blink this one and then attack with our reality smasher. Yeah, 
he often is watching from work, so he'll probably hop on in to chat any minute now. <laughs> I mean, unless he's in a meeting or he's, like, actively working on stuff. Hi there, Hide Chief. Hi there, Zero Status. Yeah, that's what, um, actually it requires colorless, and I, I should have gone ahead and played the temple, so that we could do it again, we could blink something else, but. Alright, oh, this is perfect. Drone of Hope lets me tap down both sewers. Okay, it's not perfect. I'll get two, I'll get three damage and take them down to two. They can hit for ten, and then we win on the crackback. So we go ahead and play our Drowner of Hope. Whoop. Don't want to overpay for it. There we go. So we can still blink with Displacer, so we can win this time. Okay, so... Tap this guy down. Tap this guy down. Displace the sower. And then attack. Got there. Alright. Uh, yes, I am not playing it for long though. I'm going back to Burfolk today. I'm so excited. I just have to finish out my league. This is my last match. Alright, so against the Eldrazi Menace, we want Oblivion Sower. Worldbreaker is less good. Inbringer is actually Inbringer's pretty good. Um, we want Gutshot and we want Vesuva. Which means we can take out um, the hollowed fountain, I think. Mattery Shaper is not as good here. And a Drowner of Hope. Yeah, I think that's the plan. <laughs> That's alright, Oblivion. Hi there, Tippin. I ended up going 0-3. It was really sad. But I had a lot of fun, so it was fun. Yeah, I, know, um, I realized after the fact that I should have played the temple sooner. But it ended up working out for us in the long run, thank goodness. Hi there, Steel Wolf. I am actually turning away from the dark side and returning to the light today, but I have to finish my league first, T. Goodland. Um, so Gutshot comes in against Infect... Um, the Eldrazi Menace, anything with a bunch of one-toughness Delver-type strategies, stuff like that. That's what Gutshot comes in against when I'm playing Merfolk. Um, I haven't actually tested with it, so I'm not sure how I feel about it. But that is the current plan. Alright, so... It's a little bit slow. We don't get anything until turn 3. But I think it's powerful enough. And we're on the draw. So maybe we'll draw... Um, endless 1 we can play for 4 on turn 2. Affinity. Absolutely. Yes. Affinity. I think that's something that I will get to understand a little bit better after playing with it a little bit. Sorry. It's like there's something in my eye. Ugh. <laughs> yeah, it was fun to play with. Um, but I I just I know Merfolk better. I really love the Merfolk deck. I felt like I really missed playing Merfolk. Uh, I don't know. It's nice to be back. 
Eldrazi Tron is much worse than this Bant Eldrazi list that I'm playing. So I should have a leg up. They're not probably running any land destruction, so we can just drop the eye this time is fine. Ow. Or Ghost Quarter. That works too. Yeah, we'll go get a basic. Alright, so we got all of our high end things. We do have enough to get us to five mana. But it's gonna be a little bit longer because of that ghost quarter. Yeah, so it looks like they got the better draw of the two of us. Hi there, Ubu Akima. Hi there, you think I like men? I mean, I don't think that, oof, already? They got three temples in their opening hand? That's really bad for us. Ouch. And they hit Vesuva and Flooded Strand, an Endless One and an Endbringer. Oh, that's really bad. Ouch. I don't think that the lands are, the Eldrazi lands are going to be legal soon, so I think getting rid of them now is the right plan. I'm sorry, I think I like men. All right, so we are really far behind. That ghost quarter killed us. Then your stores want them, um, sell them on Puka Trade, perhaps? I know that they've been going like hotcakes on Puka Trade. Uh, you can generally send them out quicker, at least they were, um, a week or so ago. A point to attack into an Oblivion Sower. <laughs> Right, but they're not going to make a restricted list. That's just a really bad idea for modern. Or TCG or something like that, yeah. Yeah, I absolutely love Puka Trade. Here. Yeah, there it is. Uh oh. I'm gonna crack their map in exchange or in advance. They took a tower. Ooh, I get a ghost quarter? Sweet. Yeah, I'll take that. Thanks. They have all four, or no, they have three of their Eldrazi temples and one of mine. That's terrible. Uh, we can't use it this turn. They did not go get a basic. Ooh, maybe they aren't running any. Tron and nail, like tooth and nail with Tron lands. You'll get you'll get cards on Puka Trade all the time. Um, it, I found it's really, I mean, as long as you want cards, you're gonna get them. It may take a tiny bit longer than just buying them outright, 
but it's it's really not that hard to get cards. Um, the, some people have had issues. I have never had issues. The few times where we've had some like errors or miscommunications, the Puka administrators have been fantastic and really taking care of us. So I, I don't have anything bad to say about Puka. Also, check out Solarian Community College's video on Puka Trade. Um, he talks, he explains it very well, and it gave me confidence when I originally started doing Puka Trade. So just check it out. I don't know. It's whatever the professor's video is on TCC about Puka. Like Google, it, you'll find it. It was really easy to find. One, two, three, four, five, six. we go. I want to play ahead and play the Drowner of Hope so I can tap these guys down and attack in for a lot of damage next time. I can theoretically hit for 15 next time. Hi there, Nimrods! How are you? Oh, that was you, Lee Benningfield? You're welcome. We keep trying to find people to who want the promo promos. They're generally really hard to send out. See, they are scared. They're not attacking. Which is really interesting. Oh, I didn't go fetch. Oops. So, Sky Spawner lets me tap down all three. <coughs> Can I afford Sky Spawner and Smasher? Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Only if I go do this. Although they have lethal on the crackback, so I have to be careful. My Sky Spawner can block one, they'll hit for nine. Or, yeah, same difference if we dismember the endless one. Okay. We don't need to tap the endless one because we'll eat it if they block. The sower is just going to bounce. We won't get ahead by playing the sower. We'll just continue to remain at parity, which is not where we want to be. This lets us win unless they have some crazy trick in their hand. It's not just YOLO, it really isn't. Yeah, they think they have this, but they do not. If they attack all out, we block two of them and take one. Or we block two of them and dismember the other after blocking with the Scion. All right, so they left their guys up. We can hit for two in the air and keep their guys back. Yeah, I think that's the plan. So we have to be aggressive or we lose. That's just how the Eldrazi deck works, which is one of the strange parts about being in a mirror match. Okay. 
I have one card in hand. They still have not put Tron together against me. Actually, take a color. Just make it uncounterable. I've got all that mana up. We will take an Eye of Ugin. Thank you very much. All right. Um, so we could drop him for four. I think we're better off holding him for now. We could, yeah, we could tap one, dismember this one, swing in for lethal. Because ten will get through. Nice. Yes. Okay, so... Drenner of Hope's ability, tap Oblivion Sower, dismember Reality Smasher so that it actually dies. I lose my Endless One, but that's fine. I'm actually not sure at the moment, Hope. We can go pull it. I need to put it into my deck lists anyway. So, what happened? Why is it my second main? Oh, I attacked already. Oh, jeez. Oh, that's really bad. <laughs> I got distracted. That was really bad. <laughs> Sorry. They just conceded. They didn't see a way around it. Okay. So we won our league, or we got 3-2 in our league. We got our play points back. Now we can go play Merfolk. Yes.